Hello everyone, it's Queen Beeline back to you with another video. This video pertains to the recent murder of seven-year-old Ava Phillips while she was at a family gathering. It is being alleged that the murderers identified as 23-year-old Deshaun Collins and 44-year-old Kamika Springfield. It has been confirmed that Springfield has been taken into custody for aggravated assault and possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony while Collins is still at large. You will watch these brief news clips and I will be back with more commentary. Eight-year-old girl. Atlanta police just identifying suspects in the case. Let's get straight to 11 Alive's Tracy and Mick Peer live now from Atlanta with the very latest. Well, right now, police are still looking for 23-year-old Deshaun Collins. He's wanted for a number of charges, including murder, aggravated assault, and cruelty to children. Meanwhile, they have arrested another suspect in this case. She is 44-year-old Kamika Springfield. She's been arrested for aggravated assault and possession of a firearm in the commission of a felony. Now, both are suspects in the shooting death of 7-year-old Ava Phillips, who was shot in the head during a family gathering at the Camden Vantage Apartments at around 10 20 on Saturday night. We talked to residents today who tell us many of them do not feel safe they enough to stay. custody is a victim's mother. Right now, 44 year old Kamika Springfield is in custody, charged with aggravated assault and a weapons charge in the death of Ava Phillips. Police now confirming the relationship between the two as mother and daughter. Springfield is one of two suspects facing charges and police are still searching for a second person, and that's 23-year-old Deshaun Collins. He has multiple warrants out for his arrest, including for murder and cruelty towards children. Atlanta police say Ava Phillips was shot and killed Saturday night at the Camden Vantage Apartments in Old Fort. This story is tragic on so many levels. The fact that this woman is connected to the murder of her own child this, once again, is a tragedy within itself because many parents and guardians are grieving the loss of their own child and children due to violence. And the fact that this parent had a hand in the ending of her child, you can't make this up. We have persons that are in our communities that cannot properly resolve conflict without pulling out a weapon. It should be noted that 18,000 children will be shot, wounded, and are killed. According to the FBI, at least four black girls and four black women will be murdered. And our black children and teenagers are 14 times likely to die from gun violence. These are our children. Regardless of what you may think, these children could have been the next judge, the next president, the next astronaut, the next CEO. We must be mindful and careful of allowing our anger to get the best of us because our children are paying the price for it. Our children deserve the very best. And it is unfortunate that some of us are not taking into account that our future is dwindling and it is up to us to speak up before it's too late. Our future depends on it. Our children are depending on us to ensure that they are safe. Our children need us. Protect black children. Black children matter. Say their names unknown and known justice for black children be safe out there
and I will see you in the next video.